Hey, this is Danielle. This is the Simpler Options free video for January 29th, 2019. So as you probably know, this is the week of earnings. Microsoft is one of the major companies reporting earnings tomorrow after the bell. And, you know, a lot of the time, or should I say every quarter, we usually focus on the run into earnings on Microsoft and then we trade the report. And typically we're gonna get a really nice run into earnings in Microsoft. Last quarter was the first one that wasn't so great. This quarter, I would argue that um, the month long run was amazing, but the short seven day run was pretty flat. So we still have tomorrow, we'll see what happens, what shakes out then. Um, but overall, I just want to talk about how you can trade the report. So tomorrow I will close out my runs into earnings on Microsoft, regardless of what the price is. But the main thing that I'm looking at here is a report. So I like to use this earnings analysis indicator. Um, it goes back and compares the past quarters and sees how the stock price moves in relation to the earnings report. So you can see the green bubbles are when the stock moves up after earnings, the red is when it moves down after earnings, and then to what end, to what price point and what percentage. As you can see, the majority of the time, Microsoft trades higher after earnings. You have two outliers here, but it only traded lower by 22 cents and then 77 cents. So what does that tell me? Well, tells me that betting on Microsoft to the upside is a pretty solid bet. Of course, just like anything in trading, it's about probabilities. So, I mean, if you look at the last, let's see how many quarters we need to look at. I usually look at about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out of the last eight quarters, we have six out of eight trading higher. And if you look at the last 10, you know, you have eight out of 10 that traded higher. So if you do the same trade every single quarter, and you say, all right, well, you know, I know I'm gonna lose money twice, that's fine. The other eight out of 10 times, for the most part, it works. So what are we gonna set up? Well, looking at the chart, I would say that we're actually in a great spot to do it. Um, I don't like to get into a bullish earnings trade when the price is extended going into earnings, but that's not the case, especially now that we traded lower today. So looking at Microsoft today, you can see this area of support that comes in at the voodoo line, which is about 102, 102 price point or so. Um, and of course we don't know what the price will be trading at tomorrow. So it depends where it's at tomorrow. But what I like to do is I like to look at a nice area of support, try to place an unbalanced fly around that area of support. So there's a couple different trades. Number one, unbalanced fly. Number two, put credit spread. Number three, call butterfly. Sorry, that's bad writing, but you get the point. So number one, you can look at Microsoft, look to place an unbalanced fly um, at a nice area of support. I think the nice area of support here is 102. So for me, that would look something like maybe 105, 102, 99 unbalanced fly right right around that price point. For a put credit spread, I typically like to do those at the money. So I don't know what it's gonna be trading at tomorrow, but let's say we're trading at 103. Then what I would look to do is I would sell the 103, buy back the 100 probably around there. And the reason why I'm not showing you the price points is because that's it's not gonna be the right price tomorrow. So it doesn't really matter. It's basically the overall idea that we're going for here. So I like to sell at the money put credit spreads. Um, for example, if we were trading at 103, then basically you're selling the 103 put, buying the 100 put, looking for an IV crush and theta decay to come through. So that's usually my favorite idea. I mean, if you can get the unbalanced fly for a good credit, then I like that one. I also like to put credit spreads. The call butterfly, I will typically reserve those for when I can get a cheap one. 
um, and when I have an obvious price target. So on Microsoft, for example, um, we do have a snow line up here, which is where our previous area of resistance is, which comes in about 108. So basically what you're trying to do is um, you want to come in here and say, okay, well, can I get a butterfly at the 108 price point? And then you can also, you know, try to, you can also try to, um, oh, what am I trying to say? You can try to get a very good risk to reward situation. So if you're trying to get the fly, trying to get the short strike at 108, then you would want to do something like this. Do, do, do. So at 105, 108, and then, so I mean something like that is super cheap, right? 47 cents. So I like that. Um, my shorter dated run into earnings that I have on Microsoft, as you can see, not doing super hot right now. The previous one, the previous, uh, like, one month run into earnings was great. And then I got a little bit more risky with it. Tried to do another one for the last seven days. As you can see, gapped down a little bit today. But overall, um, you know, with the with the price movement higher overnight, plus the positive Apple earnings, I'm looking for that to continue trading higher and hopefully rally directly into the close tomorrow. So hopefully that'll resolve that. But either way, I will be getting out of that run into earnings and looking to place some bullish earnings trades on Microsoft. Hopefully uh, you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the trading room.